I think Mike Yanni has his eye on something for you. Uh, he's at the Calgary International Auto and Truck Show. In fact, Jill is there too. Although, have you let her out of your sights? Because I think that is not advisable. I've lost her. I've lost her. There are so <laughs> many amazing things to see here on the show floor. And it hasn't even opened up yet. But take a look at this. A car enthusiast stream. Uh, there's so much to see here. And I want to introduce you to somebody. This is Carlo. He's from Ferrari Maserati of Alberta. Good morning. Thanks for joining us this morning. Carlo has an interesting story because you were a car enthusiast, yeah. especially with Ferrari. And then you just said one day, I'm just going to start selling them. Good morning, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Well, 20 years ago, I started uh, collecting the cars. I love the brand. And my partner, who sold me my cars, uh, asked me to be involved with the brand. And today, I'm dealer principal with, the, with the, the store. That's a dream for most people to say, I used to buy them and now I sell them. And you know what, somebody living the dream this morning, Jill Belland. I will say I've got the keys to this vehicle, the F12 in my hand. Jill's been wanting them all morning. I will Hand say this, over. Jill, I actually got a chance to start this this morning. I'm going to put it in your hands and let you chat with Carlo about this beautiful vehicle. All right, so we're doing a bit of a timeshare here on the F12 this morning, Carlo. Uh, this car is spectacular. I was saying to Ted Parr a little bit earlier, Mike, that uh, I live in my car. I'd like to live in this car. That would be all right. That would be a nice home. Okay, so tell us a little bit about uh, the features on the F12. Uh, fastest car in the world. It's fastest car in the world. It, it produces 740 horsepower out of 12 cylinders. It's a normally aspirated car. No turbochargers, no superchargers. It'll go to 200 kilometers per hour in a hair over eight seconds. Wow. Yeah. So zero to 100 in 2.9 seconds. Yeah, or that less. That is fast. Or yeah. less. Yeah. Have you done less? I, I shouldn't say. <laughs> <laughs> I have a feeling I know the answer to that. Okay, you're going to let me start this. It's yeah. set to race. It is. Uh, we don't have the straightaway to go zero to 100 in 2.9 this morning, but I'm happy to be starting it. So I've got the keys going. And now what do I need to know? Uh, nothing. Just turn the key and hit the button. Press the button? Yep. Oh, all right. Listen to that sound. Listen to that purr. Can sound. I rev the engine? You can, Jill. Oh my goodness. It sounds like a beast. It gives you goosebumps. All right. Uh, now I understand. How do I turn it off? Just turn the key towards it. Jill's going to turn off the vehicle there before she gets too carried away. Um, we're almost out of time, but I want to talk about this guy over here. This is the Ghibli, That's the right. Maserati Ghibli. That's the new Maserati Ghibli. It looks like a sedan, but this actually is all sports car. Well, the, the name is actually derived from a mid-60s sports car, and so people think it's a bit of a misnomer to put that nameplate on a four-door sedan, but when you drive it, you get it. It's a sports car. And uh, Carlo was telling me, Atara, that this has been rated the safest vehicle in the world. It already has 2018 European safety standards. So wow. pretty darn impressive. Uh, that is a veritable field of dreams today, the Calgary International Auto and Truck Show. We will go back there in just a few minutes. We're going to check in with Jill and Mike Yanni hanging out at the Calgary International Auto and Truck Show this morning. Good morning, guys. This morning we were challenged to find the biggest truck here at the Calgary International Auto and Truck Show, and here it is. Mike has found it. He is in the driver's seat. Uh, you're the lucky one this time, Mike. Is this a good look for me? Do you, can you see me driving? I down can the totally this? see you driving this. Yeah, this is my style. The suit jacket looks good in there too. <laughs> uh, nicely done. I'm being joined by Cindy here this morning with Western Star, and tell us a little bit about this vehicle. This is a heavy truck, obviously. Yes, yes. So, what are we working with here? Uh, this is a Western Star. It is a Class 8 truck, which is a primary highway truck that you'll see. Mm -hmm. um, uh, highway trucks can be both vocational, which is uh, uh, oil and gas, mm -hmm. or it can be highway where you do the hauling of your goods and material. Okay, awesome. So Western Star also has a bit of a celebrity connection. You were saying this is the truck that will be the new Optimus Prime. It is. So you can go online right now and you can look at the, the vehicles that are going to be on the Transformer. And uh, the Optimus Prime is a Western Star, and you can even buy the Transformer on uh, Amazon. Hey, how cool is that? Uh, now, Mike, you want to personalize your truck, right? Of course. You got to have a lot of bling, and I was surprised to find out that truck drivers love to put bling on their vehicles. And Cindy, uh, that vehicle next to you is actually a prime example. How, how popular is bling on these big trucks? Um, everyone wants to look attractive. We truck drivers want to look sexy, just like somebody driving a car. Um, the only cautionary process of doing that is that they make money based on weight when they're hauling. So when you start to add chrome, you start to add weight, and then you can you lower your opportunity for work. There so you go. So you got to be cautious. You have to think it out before you do it. There you so. go, Ted Tara. So not too much bling when you're hitting the road in one of these big rigs.
That is a pretty fancy rig, definitely. More from the uh, International Auto and Truck Show in just a little bit. First, we're going to check in with Mike Yanni and Jill Bellin. They're hanging out at the International Auto and Truck Show. Sitting inside the Infiniti Q50, this is one beautiful vehicle. I want you to come and take a look inside. Take a look at this. There's actually two touch screens. Talk about technology. Two touch screens here. Uh, they're not on right now because they're not allowed to have the batteries connected on the show floor. This vehicle actually won an award for 2014 as the, the best innovative technology of any vehicle. Perry from Infiniti joining me now. And I was saying that the touch screens aren't active because you're not allowed to have the batteries connected on the floor. But, but we've got the simulator. And the simulator shows you just how you can play with it, in, or you can come to the dealership and play with it there. So this is the top touch screen, this is the bottom one. Right, so your main screen is here, but then you have all your controls. You could cut, uh, change your seating temperature, you go to your menu, you can check your mail, check your information, you can go to Infinity Connect, you can do your Google, uh, you could do all kinds of cool stuff uh, by all touch screen. And on the map, for example, touch it once, zip down, uh, so you can actually scroll through and say where you want to go and boom, you're there. It's so much easier than typing in an address and then trying to, you know, it, it, the user interface is completely changing in vehicles now. The technology of a lot of the cars is uh, voice command and it's uh, active, like your iPhone, your iPad, your tablet. Your car is becoming a mobile la a laptop with it's wheels. A computer. It's it, a computer. It, 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 There's multiple computers in a car and this is the latest technology of the direction of where cars are going. Now we have to take a little walk because Jill is a little further uh, into the booth and I have to show you these. Jill had to actually take off her shoes, her boots rather, uh, for this because she's, um, let's just say she's a little bit comfy inside this vehicle. Perry, uh, what's Jill in? She's in an F1 Formula racing car that uh, is being uh, used right now, a, a duplicate on the circuit with F1 racing with Infinity. It's roomy. I don't, I don't think it's that roomy. <laughs> it's cozy, that's for sure. Now, how fast does this car go? Uh, faster than you and I can drive it <laughs> without going to jail. I know. I feel afraid just sitting in it. Uh, this is really spectacular. So, essentially, I'm actually not even all the way down. The driver would have their legs extended forward and actually be leaned back. Yeah, normally, this one here, we have to secure the steering wheel so nobody removes it, that walks away with it. But uh, in our, the real unit, when they're getting into it, they would remove the steering wheel. Drivers would get in. Uh, I would never be a driver. I'm too big. <laughs> I, I don't even think I can fit in that. It's, not comfortably. Yeah, it, it's a. There's not not a lot of room for uh, for too too much in here. It, I think they actually strap your legs in. Is that right? Uh, no, your legs aren't strapped. You have the harnesses on your shoulders. Uh -huh. uh, it, it's amazing to watch F1 racing. Uh, it's amazing what they could do uh, with a driver. Fatel, he, he's actually now working with Infinity on design of our cars. Mm -hmm. So the technology of racing is now in our drivability of our vehicles, along with the technology aspect. So Infinity is on the cutting edge, and, and the cars you'll see here at the show are amazing. And the Formula One car this is the first show in Alberta it's ever been to. Uh, it's been in Toronto, and we have it here. I don't even think it's been in Vancouver yeah. so you have a chance to see it and uh, un unlike uh, other people they can come and see it but only you get to sit in it oh thank you can Perry. you imagine sitting that for two two hours three hours well you know what you might see me sitting in the car because I'm not sure if I can get out Tara? <laughs> <laughs> well we'll have to check back in and see if we not many it. people can say they have actually sat in a Formula One race car yeah it's pretty cool. that's pretty darn cool very cool we're going to check in one final time. Mike, Yanni, Jill Bellin hanging out at the International Auto and Truck Show. And Mike, imagine that. You have found a gadget to play with. <laughs> this is my jam right here, you guys. Yeah, look at this. I found an ultimate simulator. It's the Ford Focus ST. ST stands for Sport Technology. Basically, I think this simulates my morning commute right here. I am going to sit down and buckle up, and uh, I think Jill is going to kind of take things away and uh, chat with Darren from Ford. Yes, and you need to buckle up there, Mike, because I just had a drive with you in the simulator, and Mike has a lead foot. I will tell I you that much. Uh, there were some collisions involved. Some pylons were hit. I think he mowed the lawn once or twice. So we're going to start the simulator up here. I'm being joined by Darren. And tell me a little bit about what Mike's experiencing here, Darren. Well, this is the Ford's performance simulator. Mm -hmm. It's uh, pretty much brand new for Ford itself, but it just showcases some of the product that's in the Ford lineup itself. It'll give people a real world experience of driving a race car. Okay, driving a race car. So yeah, what, what car is Mike going to be driving here? It's a Ford Focus ST, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, highly 
tuned performance vehicle, but it's small, very nimble. Uh, it, it will be fun for him. Very nimble, depending on the driver, I would say. Exactly. I'm making fun of Mike a little bit. He is, he is you know, very well versed here. But how close is the simulator to how the car actually drives? Uh, very close, actually, itself. It was, uh, I was just going to say, like last night, we had our vehicles and violins gala, and there's Porsches and Ferraris and Bentleys here and everything. And this unit here had the biggest lineup in the world out here. There was doctors, there was lawyers, everybody was sitting here cheering each other on, laughing and trash talking each other, trying to beat each other's times. So it's very cool. I bet. It is like an amusement park ride, really, in that you're going up there, you're feeling the twists and the turns, you're yeah. feeling the gear shift. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's real world experience itself. So. Uh, it should be very busy this weekend, I would think. So. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And uh, Mike Yanni's all smiles. He's already gone through three test drives here in the simulator. So you want to get here early to line up for this? Absolutely. We're anticipating a big lineup, but uh, most times you can get through the course in about a minute and a half to two minutes. So it should move pretty quickly, but the kids will love it. So. Okay, absolutely. And you do get to control the gas and the brake. Absolutely. It's an automatic, uh, so it's very easy to drive, not a lot of shifting or anything like that. So very easy to use. and like Mike just did, no hands. So. Mike, keep your hands on the steering wheel. Hands on, uh-oh, pylons. Uh, you guys, this is quite an experience. I almost wish that I had taken a gravel before getting in oh. the passenger seat with our gadget guy, Ted Tara. Oh, I don't think I'd be able to handle that. I'd love to try that. <laughs> Actually, if you're in the driver's seat, fine. It's fine. Passenger yeah. seat, maybe yeah. not. Because you're not in control, right? So you don't know you're going to be turning left or yeah. turning right. Yeah. Uh, all the information you need at breakfasttelevision.ca.